spring is one of my favorite seasons and here in Ohio we have one of the most beautiful springs, I think. I mean, yes, it still gets cold sometimes. It can be, you know, damp and muddy and even get some late snow. But for the most part, especially once things start you know, bursting forth and turning green, um, it's just beautiful. Often we get a lot of rain. In fact, even as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm sitting by the window and it's raining outside. Um, just such a pretty sound. As things start to you know green up on the outside and everything looks so nice and fresh, I like to have that look on the inside too. I'll just go from room to room and kind of freshen things up and just make sure everything is fitting for the spring season. I like to go over my house plants, you know, remove any dead leaves and trim things up if they need it. A lot of these plants will probably be on the front porch during the summer months. They really like it out there. This was the first winter that I had a fairly strict watering schedule for my house plants. And I always try to water them every Thursday. And if I forgot, I do it on a Friday. But usually you know, once a week, I check them. And if, they, if it wasn't necessary to water them, I wouldn't water them. But I just made sure to check them. And Marlene always told me, my sister, that I should do this. And I tell you, it definitely worked. Like my plants look healthier than they've ever looked this time of the year. I mean, no, they're not perfect, but they're living. So I would definitely advise anyone to just, you know, try to do that. I know it seems kind of like overkill maybe to have a watering schedule for house plants, but um, I'm here to say it definitely works. To me, there's almost nothing better than to open up windows and doors during this time of the year. Just bring that outside in. I waited for this all winter long. It's so nice to feel a breeze throughout the house and it just smells so fresh. It's still a little bit early to be sitting out on decks, you know, during the month of April here, but every now and then we're going to have a day where this can be done. So I just like to, you know, clean things up back here. Often it doesn't even take that much to spruce up a room, you know, shake out the blankets and fluff up the pillows. It just makes everything look nice and fresh. And in case you're wondering, I do still like our cover for the sofa. I had picked it up in a thrift store, an old bedspread. 
and a lot of you had warned me that I'm going to be fixing this thing all the time. And I think being that both of the pieces, like the bedspread and the sofa, are textured enough, they kind of, you know, stick together. It doesn't really slide around that much, uh, which is nice because I do like this color a lot better than, you know, having the sofa exposed. Often when I do a home refresh like this, I find myself thinking I need to make something for a certain space. Like I'll, I'll come across an area and I think, oh, this needs this or this. And then I proceed to go out in the shop and, you know, try to make it, which there's nothing wrong with that. But my challenge for this refresh is to actually just use things I already have or, you know, go outside and bring things in. So I'm going to see if I can accomplish that. Bringing fresh greens or flowers from the outside in is a favorite of mine. And every spring when I do this, because I'm so ready to have, you know, something like that in my house, I always vow I'm going to do this all summer long. I'm just going to always have, you know, fresh flowers or just something from my gardens um, displayed in my home. And of course, I don't always get it done, but uh, this time of the year, it's just easier for me. Again, I think it's because I'm just so ready for it. It's almost time for a new peach nectar candle. I love this scent. It's probably still one of my favorites for summertime or even in the spring. And we do have this scent in four different sizes and styles of containers and also the wax melt, along with many other great scents. I know I talk about my candles a lot, but um, they are pretty amazing. Amy, the lady that pours them, does an amazing job with them. I have been so excited to hang my new screen door that I made last year and I'll try to link that video down below in the description box in case you want to check it out but it's nothing fancy and I don't know will it even last but I can't wait to have the screen door here I'm just hearing those outside sounds and just you know feeling the breeze I'm looking for a tray that I could use on the island up here in my storage room where I store a lot of my seasonal decor. I had done a video on this room last year and I'm really loving it, but it's not staying quite as neat as I wish it would be. Often, you know, just in a hurry and set things down and don't bother to, you know, organize as I go, but uh, it is a really nice space. I'm thankful to have the space, even if it doesn't look that good. I found these cute little bee plates at Hobby Lobby the other day. When I got them, I wasn't really thinking, you know, I'd incorporate them into my spring refresh, but I thought they're so fitting to add to this tray. The tulips are second year tulips over at the cottages. I actually dug them out because we were mulching and I didn't want to just throw them out, so I decided to fix the bouquet with them. When doing a seasonal refresh, it's of course nice to, you know, wash some of your fabric things. I'm going to wash the sink skirt. I really liked it. I had done a video last summer on, you know, replacing my doors with this 
and it's really I like the function of it I love the look of it and we've actually sold a lot of these since and we still have them available on the Etsy shop in case you're looking for one for yourself uh, but it's a nice adorable fabric It's high time to replace my drying rack. I think it was MB the other day that said, I think you need a new drying rack. Um, I had some rust showing through, so I thought this is a good time to replace it. And I also replacing my drying mat. And I, this gets used a lot, being that I don't have a dishwasher, so I really rely on this frame or this rack to dry my dishes. I thought how fun would that be to have a cheerful spring-like design for my hand towel. I always use dish towels for hand towels here in the kitchen and I'll often just cut a little hole into the corner if it doesn't have a loop you know, to hang it with. And I got this one at Walmart for a really good price. I found this pretty green soap dispenser at Dollar General. I um, didn't give more than a couple dollars for it. I'm going to incorporate fresh herbs into the kitchen, like on the countertop. First of all, it would be really nice to sometimes snip off some herbs if I'm cooking and I actually need something, and I al also like the look of it. So I'm going to put these in some clay pots and display them on the countertop. Crab apple blossoms are always one of my favorites. I'm going to get a sprig here to stick into a vase for the kitchen table. Um, they're not in full bloom at this point, but hopefully they'll reach that, you know, once they're inside. But they look pretty the way they are, just without being, you know, open all the way. I wanted a pretty flower here for the white urns that are sitting outside the basement door. Found these in a local greenhouse, and I gotta say they're kind of out of my comfort zone. Like normally I'll go with, you know, pinks and lavenders and whites, but this kind of caught my eye. I thought it might look good for something different, this deep kind of orange color. So we'll see. So I have a new product to share with you guys that is available on the Etsy shop. Um, I had warned you guys this year is the year of new products. So this is another one of them. And this is something I had made for myself for a while and just was testing it. But I have an all natural room spray and this one is lavender scented. It smells so good. I'll have three different scents for now and you can buy them individually and they're also in a set of three. Uh, so make sure to check those out on the Etsy shop. I think they turned out great and I love how fresh a room smells when using them. For the bedroom, I basically just removed the duvet cover that I had over the winter months. It was just a plain white one uh, from Brooklinen and I replaced it with this striped one, uh, just nice and fresh and spring-like. And I gotta say, we are still loving our linen sheets. I had talked about this earlier or last year, late last year. And these are from Brooklinen, and I gotta say, with every wash, they do get softer and softer. 
and we both just love them. I, um, I really like the look of this crinkly linen. I love how this rug from Walmart looks in here. I had initially gotten it for the living room and it just didn't look right. It was too gray, but I think in here with you know the black dresser and some of the other colors in here, it just looks really good. It's been a while that I displayed a picture in our bedroom of John and myself. I always like to do that, but I didn't do it recently. I found this one from the beach uh, from this past summer. I thought that would look good on the dresser along with some dried flowers and I also have my wash bowl set that I'll probably leave on the dresser and I have this little embroidered piece of linen that I found in the thrift store. I thought for now that will be fitting here. I do want to get maybe a doily or something for, I think it's too black, like the top of the dresser is really dark. Um, it should be lightened up a bit but maybe I'll come across one that will be fitting. During the winter season, I had an evergreen wreath hanging above the headboard. Really like that look of having something circular there. Uh, so I'm going to go with another wreath. This one's, of course, more you know fitting for the spring and summer months. I want to get a larger basket to hold these pillows, but for now, this is all I have on hand. Just keep my eye out for one. I hope you guys are enjoying the spring season wherever you are and thanks for following along as I did a spring refresh in our home and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video.